marching in. No jail for being a dad. No jail for being a dad. No jail for loving your kids. No jail for loving your kids. Oh, where the dad? Oh, where the dad? Go marching in. Go marching in. I want the dad. Prepared statement, if you don't mind, and then you can ask me any questions. Today, I have escaped prison as a political prisoner for standing up against this feminist Labour government for the right of children and their fathers to have a relationship with each other in the event of a dysfunctional mother unlawfully denying contact and as a result inflicting on their children emotional and psychological child abuse for their own selfish needs. This feminist Labour government sees fit to allow paedophiles to teach our children but thinks it is not fit for a father to be emotionally involved with his child. I have no regrets with any of my activism that I have been involved with. That's the natural order of life for a father to protect his children from all dangers, including family judges, feminazi politicians, social services and incompetent CAPCAS officers. The only regrets I do have is that more and more men are allowing themselves to become feminised and are afraid to stand up against the feminist lobby and be a man for the sake of their children. Our children need their fathers to be men and for men to be returned to the head of the family which would ensure children have a continued relationship with their fathers. There is no room for feminism in the family unit and it is because of feminism in the family that there's so much antisocial problems caused by children who haven't had their fathers in their lives. Well, it's uh, it's got people talking, and uh, I, I don't think it's um, you know it's, I don't think it's been an interest at all to I do think it's yeah. Uh, no, not at all. I mean, I'm not the person to ask them. The person to be asked would be my three children. And they all love me and support me. My eldest son's here today. He's you know, in full support. He totally agrees with everything that I do. Yeah, I've, I've, you know, I've, um, I've heard you. I realise that I, I, I probably will be going to the uh, To be honest, that this is uh, this is me as well. What I think of it. It stands for a silly bloody order. <laughs> so are you not going to be adhering to the terms of the as well? Well, I mean, I'm still going to. I'll still be. Um, let's just say that I'll still be. Um, you know. Uh, fighting for the rights of fathers to have a loving relationship with, with their children. Yeah, I'll still be involved in Because I don't see them doing anything wrong, you know. All I'm asking for is that after a break of, uh, you know, of a marriage or a relationship, <laughs> children are
with me too, because you know what? I've probably been so upset if you don't miss me, uh, my lads. You know, and, uh, he, uh, it wouldn't really upset me that, because I do it for the kids, and then there's my old stodgy old 20 I mean, I had a little speech prepared for me, the but they got to the dance, and I was going to say, I'd like to thank Mr. Bean and Kitchen Bracket for providing all my farcical uh, kangaroo court. I was going to say, I'm Spartacus, you know, long live fathers. So, uh, anyway, I didn't need to say it in the end. No. Did I get a private right. interview? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Alright, thanks for everything. Yeah. Alright. Yeah, alright. See you in a group? Yeah, just thank everybody for uh, turning up and supporting me. You know, the support's been fantastic. I, I couldn't have done it without you, you know. And uh, it just makes you feel good when you're in... Uh, when you're in the dock and you've got all that support, you don't feel as though you're on your own. I don't know if this has got a mic. <laughs> uh, well, can you lip read it? Well, it'll have one. Yeah. I don't need this anyway, my gob's big enough. Yeah. Oh, 